Greetings and hello again everyone, I'm Jim. Welcome to another video. Covering something that I've covered before on this, uh, the Ubiquiti Unify Protect G4 Doorbell Unofficial PoE Guide. Now, I'll state at the start of this video, this is a fully unsupported um, and is not in any way recommended by Ubiquiti, but it works. Um, so unofficially powering the G4 doorbell via a 24 volt PoE injector and also now this video will uh, encompass the G4 Pro doorbell and uh, powering it via USB but how to use the Honeywell uh, wired to wireless doorbell adapter with uh, the G4 Pro as uh, the G4 Pro has the advantage of having USB-C power in the back and can obviously be powered by the soon to hopefully be released uh, as of March 2023 uh, G4 PoE to USB adapter from Ubiquiti still in EA currently as of today filming but imminent release I would assume by now um, because one thing that the G4 Pro doorbell does not do is supply power out of the rear pins so let's cover how we've got our Honeywell chimes working with the G4 Pro doorbells, um, including powering them by USB-C. Now getting started, first things first, we want the G4 Pro doorbell. This is my G4 Pro doorbell actually, so uh, although these are in short supply at the moment, currently it is March the 3rd, uh, 2023. They are starting to appear more and more in the uh, Unify stores so keep your eyes peeled if you are after one. Obviously, this is the G4 Pro. Um, I've done a quick review on this before, but in its essence at the moment, it's not that much different to the G4 doorbell. Um, the way in which it works is very, very similar. Obviously, main camera at the top, button, color LCD screen instead of just a text screen, which you get on the doorbell. The fingerprint sensor, which again, as of March 2023, still has one use in EA for a door lock that here in Europe we can't get, is only available over in the US, but pretty much has no other use. And obviously on the bottom we've got the uh, LED light and the parcel cam, which again is a nice feature to have, but is not a necessity on these we find over here. Um, other than that, round the back, you have got at the top the reset button, you have got the USB-C plug, and then you've got the standard two-pin doorbell firewall. You can see this one was an early one, but it's exactly the same. So, what else you are going to need? You are going to need your chime adapter. This is a white chime adapter out of a G4 doorbell. It's identical to the G4 Pro doorbell adapter, except that comes in black. You are going to want your... 24 volt power supply. You are also going to want the Honeywell wireless adapter, wireless door chime. For this, I've got a USB C power, a normal power, and you are going to want some wires because you're going to need them obviously on a much longer scale to connect this up properly in the grand scheme of things. But to start with, let's get that out of the way there. So, on the back of the doorbell, you can see I have got two different color cable clips. These are the cable clips. This one, obviously, the white ones come with the G4 doorbells. The black ones come with the G4 Pro. I have done this so it's easy to differentiate between what is the left-hand side and the right-hand side uh, connections, because it does make a difference to these as to whether or not the ringer actually works. I'm gonna put that out of the way for the time being. And go from there so what we want to do is on the chime adapter you are going to want to remove the two clips that go on to the uh, end I have snipped them off and cleaned back the wires those two can remain with these in exactly the same way as the G4 normal doorbell in the wireless adapter you are going to want to use AC1 and A1. So putting these in, one side goes into AC1, 
push the clips in. The other one goes into A1. Let me push the clips in there, like so. The next step, I have here created a small cable for this. This is just a normal Cat6 end on a piece of Cat6. This is Cat6 cabling that is solid core rather than stranded, just because it makes it a lot easier. Um, I would recommend if you're doing this, you use solid core because it does make the ends a lot easier to work with as you don't tend to be moving this around, therefore it does not need to be stranded. So you can see this is a standard um, B pattern end and I have taken out the brown cable and the blue cable and paired the ends off. And with these, you are going to want to connect the blue to the right hand side, which on mine is the white cable. And you poke it in until it grips like so. You then want to connect the brown cable into the one side of the doorbell chime adapter until it grips. You then want another strand of cable. Again, I've just used a green part of the same Cat5 or Cat6 cable. This in turn goes into the other side of the chime adapter. And then the other side of that cable goes into the other side of the doorbell. Now, yes, I have left the tails a bit long on these, but that's why I have been testing with them. And I will say these clips are not the best. But now if we turn the doorbell over, like so, we can then plug mm, in our... I don't know that one. We can then plug in our PoE adapter and supply power to it. And the doorbell will turn on. Now, with everything plugged in on powered up, you can simply press the button. And you will get a chime from your wireless doorbell. If you do not get a chime from the wireless doorbell because the Honeywell adapter is not triggering, reverse the cables in the Honeywell adapter by switching them over. So A1 into AC, AC1 into A1. Uh, this is the only thing we have found often that sometimes people do set this up and then say it does not work. But that in itself is normally the only problem, just a reverse of the wires in the chime adapter and away you go. Now the next step is, what if you want to power your device via USB-C? So for example, your unit is in an area where there is no wireless coverage, uh, the walls that it's on are too thick for coverage. Well, obviously Ubiquiti have made it so that this device can be powered by USB-C and obviously with the up and coming adapter, you will be able to connect it to your network via the USB-C adapter. But the problem occurs with this wireless setup and a lot of wireless setups is that to trigger a chime, you need voltage. So you will need a power supply feeding the chime adapter and the doorbell to trigger that chime adapter. So you may already have a doorbell chime in place, in which case all you need to do is quite simply plug your USB-C cable into the back and then once it has connected to your network via the network cable like so you can then simply wire up your chime in the way you would a normal with transformer and it will behave and as we can see here this unit if I now unplug from there there is power gone this is doorbell is taking its sole power via the USB-C cable now if I press this button here 
nothing will happen because the chime circuit has no power. Unfortunately, there is no way to get the G4 Doorbell Pro to even just do a simple closed circuit. It has to have the chime adapter in situ and the chime adapter does need to be powered. Um, as it stands now, if I plug this back in, we get a chime trigger because the circuit is now powered. And then if I press the button again, we get a chime again. So this, believe it or not, is actually the supported way to get a existing chime working with a USB-C powered Doorbell Pro. This is actually officially supported by Ubiquiti in terms of the powering of a chime circuit. I would suggest maybe not using a 24 volt adapter. You can use a standard doorbell chime adapter, which is eight volts AC. This is 24 volts DC. But this circuit as it stands works with a USB-C powered G4 Doorbell Pro, a wireless Honeywell adapter, and obviously the wireless Honeywell chime. In a real situation, obviously all of this will be hidden out of sight, I hope, bar the doorbell. Um, the considerations are obviously with the Doorbell Pro in that having a USB-C adapter on the back, it does extend rather a long way and you will have to obviously find a way to route that through to the back of the doorbell from the uh, adapter, which most USB-C adapters are rather large for this. But again, using the official adapters when they come out, it also means that the back of the USB-C plug, in this case, I'll take it off. There is a O-ring seal on the back here that ensures that it stays waterproof. And that is highly recommended that you make sure that your USB-C plug that you are using is waterproof. Obviously, if I unplug the USB-C, you will see it switch back over to Wi-Fi. And then plugging it back in will change it back over. If you are using a G4 Doorbell Pro, and you want to set the unit up, I would recommend, personally, configuring it on wireless if you have the ability to initially before you plug in the USB-C adapter for the cable because if you do not configure the wireless and you lose power via the USB-C cable, the unit is not configurable until you do a reset. So getting it so that it has a backup wireless connection to the wired connection would be my recommendation. It's what we do for the ones we have. They are able to fail over to a Wi-Fi connection. It might not be the greatest, but it's better than nothing. So there we go. Well, there we go. A quick revisit over an existing video I did. Uh, hopefully this will help a few people out, especially if you're looking at getting the G4 or the G4 Pro doorbell. Um, this again is obviously unofficially a way to power your G4 via PoE. You can uh, obviously power via a PoE injector or you can get the 48 volt to 24 volt dropper adapters that sit in line if you wish to power this from a PoE switch, um, which gives you the added advantage that if it's at a remote site that you're looking after, you can reboot the doorbell remotely by just turning PoE off to the port that it's plugged into. So uh, anyway, questions? comment down below um, if you are in the UK and looking for an IT support company um, as a business then please feel free to get in touch uh, with us at, over at uh, influxsolutions.com and we will uh, hopefully catch up with you in the next video uh, until next time like share subscribe please subscribe <laughs> and uh, I will see you in the next one